what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to get the response. I want to copy this response for the request that we are testing. And I'm going to open a chat with, with uh, ChatGPT. And I'm going to ask here um, this uh, create test to verify the following JSON code in Postman. And I paste the code and press enter. So create test to verify the following JSON code in Postman. Okay. This and now I paste the code and now let's see. So look what it's doing. It's giving me the first one that we already have, and then is uh, checking the page number is correct. Item per page equal to six. So it's giving us several functions that we can use and paste in our uh, in our test. So look how ChatGPT can also help us with Postman as well. Okay, so what I did now is that I am um, copy all those functions that ChatGPT created into our script. And I'm going to analyze uh, what are they doing. So this first one is um, page number is correct, is checking the property page. So this property here, and is uh, checking that is equal to two, which is correct. The second one is checking the property per page equal to six. So we can see that here as well. This other one, total number of items is correct. So it's equal to 12. So it's looking for total. So let's look here, total. And total of number of pages is correct. Total pages equal to two. And we have here total pages equal to two. Then it's saying, Data array is correct, so it's looking for data, the array data, which is this array. And it's expecting that the array have a length of six. So let's see if that is correct. So data should have six elements. So inside these curly brackets, that will be one element. So that's one element, two elements, three, four, five, six. So that is correct as well. Now, this one is checking support URL is correct. So it's uh, verifying that the URL inside the field support is this one. So let's see that. So in support, as you can see, in this field support, we have a URL. And is this URL? So that one is this URL here. And also there is a text inside support that says to keep regress free contributions towards server calls are appreciated. And this test here is checking that that test is present and correct as well. So now if I press send, all those tests, all those tests are passing. So this is how you can also use ChatGPT to help you create tests in Postman. Now, also, uh, like I mentioned before, this set of tests is automated. So now when there is any change from uh, your developer, you can just basically run, you know, all of them. You just press send here and you just run all these uh, tests and that will verify that any changes that uh, any new changes that uh, the developers are doing is not affecting the current functionality. Of course, that if there is any new changes, you need to add new tests, but in what uh, uh, regards regression, this is uh, uh, doing that for you.